how. How is it possible that you can be a survivor if you're never attacked? How? How is it possible that you'll win if you never compete? And how? How is it possible for you to heal if you're never wounded? You see, to the untrained eye, the process of burying and the process of planting look just alike. The earth is dug up, an object is placed underneath and covered back up. You see, but when you bury something, you don't water it. It marks the end of a destiny. But when you plant something, you are planting for a reason. And that reason is metamorphosis because the seed or the planting would never reach its full potential without being planted. And the key to the planting is believing that whatever you're planting will blossom. That's the cultivation process. That is the watering, if you will. You see, the watering is a process. It's just like healing. See, healing is an action and it is the process to which restoration comes about. See, if you're injured or if you're wounded, like for example, I tore my Achilles back in 2011 and there was a healing process that I had to go through. Now, healing can come with some discomfort because oftentimes we're stretched or, or we're pulled in an uncomfortable situation in order to get us back to being restored. Now, the farmer only waters because he believes. So the key to your healing is your belief. And in order to secure your belief, you have to guard your focus. You see, oftentimes we put alarm systems on houses or cars or we put locks on our cell phones. But I'm going to challenge you and ask you, what are you doing to protect and guard your focus? You see, I'll give you three things that you can do. Number one, guard what information you take in. That includes the websites you visit, the podcasts you listen to, the books that you read, the shows that you watch, the music you listen to. The second thing is, what are you doing to decompress and blow off steam? Is it taking a walk? Is it going to work out at a gym? Is it a new hobby? Is it painting? Is it collecting coins or something? And the third thing that you need to guard your focus is to have some sort of level of accountability. You need an accountability partner. Someone that you can keep your commitment true. And that commitment, that means staying true to your word long after the situation and the circumstances in which you gave your word may have changed. Doing these, th doing these three things will certainly allow you to guard your focus. I want to encourage you and inspire you to remember that you can heal over the last two years We've all been through a ton. We've lost loved ones. We've lost jobs. We've lost opportunities. All due to COVID. But now is a time that we can heal and come back together. And let's come out on the other side better than we were before we went in. Thank you for your time. And enjoying a moment of inspiration from the coach's desk.